Greetings, YouTube, and welcome back to one of my favorite series, simply titled, Would You Be Happy If This Was Your First Six Star? Because you can see this man is level 44. And so he has waited a while. Uh, one of those crystal opening commentaries that just was like 70th on the list, and finally I'm able to get to it uh, maybe a couple months after he wished he I would have. But hey, a commentary is a commentary. So we're going to look at this savage crystal and know that you're going to skip the three or four star saber tooth and instead go to some mysterious six star. So the question is, would you be happy if this was your first six star? I do believe he has a couple of crystals to open before this. And so this is also like really important for potentially account changing luck. And this is Pythonics? Pythonics? I would say Pythonics. Maybe just Master P. Maybe we just call you Master P. Why not? All right. First five-star crystal of the opening is Emma. Oh, my gosh. Corvus. Wow. And my guess is it's definitely your first Corvus. Do you know how many people are still hunting Corvus and they've been playing this game for years and have been level 60 for years? And yet you're level 44 and you can just flex on all of them. Well, even if your first six stars like Iron Package, you got a five star Corvus. So this is a game changing, account changing opening, regardless of what happens with the six star crystal. With that being said, I hope you at least get a uh, somewhat good champion. How do you follow a five star Corvus? With a five star Karnak. That's to be expected. I hate that guy. Two different classes to rank up the champion. I don't care if it's comic book accurate. Talk about inconvenient. Are you kidding me? No thanks. No thanks. And I do believe somebody told me that that means when you take him up to rank 3, you need two different classes of tier 5 class catalysts. That is absolutely highway robbery. Uh, last of the 5 stars, Ronin. Hawkeye Ronin? Sure is. That's who I used my Nexus crystal on because um, I had really no surefire options. All right, here we go. Again, with the five-star Corvus, it really takes the pressure off. If you'd got three trash five-star champions like most people, you'd be thinking to yourself, this six-star better be good. Um, it's always tough to make predictions. I'm going to say you get somebody middle tier like a Hawkeye. Why not? All right, is the server going to connect? Here we go. Cole, Hit Monkey, love those two champions. And <sighs> downgrades from satellite to cable. Well, I do have a six star cable. I think he's awakened, in fact. He's okay. I use him with Apocalypse and Wolverine sometimes to have Wolverine become a horseman faster. But in general, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of cable. I remember when he was like allegedly a top five mutant. It feels like it was years ago because, well, it was years ago. Um, would you be happy if Cable was your first six-star? I mean, let's be real. The five-star Corvus really makes this opening what it is. If you fast-forwarded and six-star, check out the first crystal in this. It really is amazing. Either way, uh, Master P, thanks for the crystal opening commentary. Congrats on the brand spanking new six-star since it's been a while since you sent this over to the channel. Hopefully now Cable's at least made a friend or two, and you've opened at least one or two more six-stars.